So today it is all about herbs, and up first we have a basil pesto. Now this is the classic dish, but once you know the method, you can make it your own. Swap out for different herbs, swap out for different nuts. The sky is really the limit, and this could not be easier. The one key thing, food processor. Absolutely necessary. Now don't relegate pesto to just pasta. You could put it on anything, chicken, meat, fish, whatever. But me, I like my pasta, so I'm gonna get a pot of water to boil. While the pasta water comes to a boil, it's time to get to making our pesto. We need about two cups of fresh basil leaves. I've already started prepping them here. And you really want the cups to be packed in, a little overflowing even. Gotta get that maximum basil flavor. My basil leaves this year are, are like prehistoric size. So now let's pop our basil leaves into the food processor. It's gonna look like a lot, but don't worry because it's gonna basically get pulverized. Okay, so after our basil, you want a quarter cup of pine nuts. Sprinkle those in there. And of course, a little salt and pepper. And of course, we need garlic. You want about two cloves. Okay. And you don't really have to chop it too finely, just nice and rough, it's fine, because you're plopping it right into that food processor there and it'll get pulverized along with everything else, so. We're just gonna pop it in here. So now it's time to pulverize all those goodies before we add the olive oil. So let's go crazy. All right, that looks pretty pulverized, and now we're gonna turn it back on and stream in the olive oil. I have two thirds of a cup here. You may or may not need to use it all. Just take a look, and when you think it looks like a good consistency, you should be fine. All right, well that looks really good, so now I'm gonna grab a spatula and we'll scrape this out and put it into a bowl. All right, and for the last ingredient, half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Just stir it into those pulverized ingredients. That cheese is nice and well incorporated. And that's it for the sauce. And it looks like the pasta water is boiling, so now let's add our pasta. And always remember to salt your pasta water first before you put it in there. It's really your only chance for the pasta to absorb the salt. A Couple of good pinches there. Now you can have a pesto with anything, and you don't even have to have it just with pasta. You can think meat, seafood, whatever. I have a fantastic eight grain penne here, and I am making the whole pound. Gonna give it a stir. And now I just have to wait. While the pasta was cooking, I tidied up a little bit, but now it's ready to come off the stove and into my belly. Now we'll just drain this. All right, fantastic. Just shake out some of the excess water. I'm gonna put it right into this giant bowl. And bring it on over. Just look at the amazing color of this pesto. It is electric. We just pour the sauce on top and stir it in. Look at how green that is. Fantastic. Okay. Gonna make this look pretty. Okay, and there we have it, penne with basil pesto.